All right, guys, look where we are. We are not in the garage today. We are at the car wash. Um, got my little tub of parts here. One of them, anyways. Um, I'm going to clean off a lot of this stuff before I install it. That one's got... How does that have bird poo on it? I don't know. That's weird. This is like the vent underneath the... Anyways, look at all these. I don't know how that ends up with mud on it, but what are you gonna what are you gonna do, right? Anyway, there's the main reason we're here. We're gonna clean this carpet, so let's get this out of the box and uh, see what we got. All right, it was kind of like uh, early Christmas, uh, opening all this, opening this box again because I, I couldn't remember everything that was in it. Um, I got most of the interior back plastics here. Uh, some front plastics. I got a lot of them at home still up in the garage, but um, carpet right there. I will say, even though the guy stripped the car down to nothing, at least they kept all their most of their parts. So, I gotta hand it to him for that. Got some visors in here, even though they need to be reupholstered. That's that's okay. This door. Looking all, I was looking all, all around for this spring right there, and little did I know I had one up in the garage. So, extra door there, so that's cool. All these seat belts, bunch of, bunch of different seat belts. There's probably about, well, there's there's like four in there, so five, four, I don't know. So that's cool. So, anyways, let's go ahead and clean this off. All right, this carpet looks like it's pretty good shape from whenever I first bought the car. I, I brought it out here before and I washed it one time with the high pressure hose. But my friend recommended me, um, he you know he works at the upholstery shop, or he used to, but he's, he's got a lot of experience in this kind of stuff. So he recommended me dousing this with uh, purple power uh, mixed with water. So I got my little mixture here. I'm just gonna douse it real quick, let it soak in for a while. i wash my other parts and uh, while this is soaking and then I'll come back and, and rinse it out. So. He assured me that it wouldn't that it wouldn't uh, screw up the uh, the coloration or you know. Okay I got all my wa uh, pieces washed kind of and I say kind of because, okay, you have uh, water and you want soap to come out you, and you change it the, the dial to soap. It takes literally like three minutes for any soap to come out. So I'm sitting there wasting time, you know, just trying to rinse, rinse parts off. And then I finally get the soap to come out and um, after rinsing all the parts, soap is coming out real good, but you know, it took three minutes to get there. And I, I was like, okay, well, I need to, uh, you know, rinse these parts off, so put it on rinse. Well, it took another three minutes for just the just the water to come out. So, um, so now I'm stuck with soapy carpet. I guess I have to go home and rinse them off. But I was well, and the reason why is because I came over here and I was like, well, okay, no big deal. I'll go ahead and get some some change. I come over here to the deal. And look what I get to see, you know. So that's my luck. I have no quarters. Anyways. Oh, man. That's my luck. So I can't rinse off my parts because I don't have any quarters. And I'm not going to drive somewhere just to get changed so I can give this car wash more, more of my money. All right, it's almost nine o'clock at night. Had to go. Uh, I decided to go to the gas station and get some change, so I could uh, finish uh, rinsing these off because I knew I was gonna be. Uh, it was gonna bother me if I got them home and didn't rinse them off. So I went ahead and did that, and now I'm just sitting here waiting for them to kind of drip down, and I'll load them up in the car and we'll get them. We'll get them back to the house. All right, let me make this quick little before video. I'm doing this right in my driveway. I bet the neighbors love me. But um, I, I just wanted to show how faded some of these pieces were right here. 
you know I painted this one already with the trim paint so I got one coat on it anyways so I'm gonna do the rest of the pieces real quick before uh, the neighbors call the cops on me so all right here they are guys some of the pieces anyway sorry I brought I brought them inside from out uh, on the drive because I uh, I didn't want the neighbors to you know keep looking um, looking at me funny so uh, here's what they look at they they like like always I mean with this uh, interior paint man it's just turning out great I'm impressed with uh, how, how everything looks um, I've got some of the other pieces here they look brand new just like before so I got I got a few more pieces upstairs but um, I'll get to those later uh, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all this stuff in well I gotta do the carpet first but um, all this is gonna stay here until I'm ready to install them so <laughs> nice to get all these the holes are cut so you kind of know where things are gonna go like uh, back in here Let's see how there's the there's that bolt right there I guess that's where that goes then you got this little slot right here to make room for that uh, the trunk and the fuel le uh, latch lever. slot for the fuel fuel uh, door and the hatch and also there's a hole right here for the um, seat mounting uh, bolt for the seat and I'm just gonna try to get this as best as I can all right here it is the front part anyways I just got it sitting in there got all the holes lined up now I do have the seat uh, bolts in just for temporary um, to hold it to kind of hold help hold it in place also there was a couple velcro spots up way up there and on the other on the passenger side as well um, I also got the bolts in right there these little green clips here looks like there's a couple of screw spots for them right here with the blue uh, clips there I just need to get some screws with a with a bigger washer to um, so that it'll, it will hold and I do have the rubber piece for that and up there too so but they use some kind of an adhesive to put it on so I'll, I'll have to do that uh, later but uh, got it in for now got all that lined up it's looking good a little baggy right here but Maybe that will relax after some time. Now let's see if I can get the back back pieces in, or piece in. Oh, 
nice little clip right here on the back side of that. It goes, I guess, in that circle because of this slot. Oops. There's a clip there. It goes, I guess, in this circle right here because of this this slot right here is for that. It looks like for that's for the rear seat. So that's pretty cool. as can be. Alright. Those holes, uh, those screws, they also hold this uh, rocker panel piece in. So, go ahead and install it. Try to install it with it on there. Let's just put this right back on that weather strip. It actually lines up right there. Good. Get that, get that one started. There you go. See, there's that hole right there. Forgive all the fingerprints. But this just lays right over the top of the weather strip. Like such. All right, I wasn't gonna film this, but um, it might be a, a, an actual issue um, for other people and so uh, I wanted to go ahead and film it because I couldn't really find anything on the internet about wiring up the third brake light if you don't already have one um, apparently sorry, let me get this mosquito apparently the the wiring harness that I got is for a hatch but um, there's no uh, um, there's no wiring for the uh, third brake light and so um, when I get to the hatch wiring up top right here, it's got two extra wires. This green one with the red stripe and uh, green with the red uh, and uh, a white stripe and also a white with black stripe and some pink uh, dabs on it. And th that one has the red dabs on it. Uh, so those two, as you can see, they come through here and they go to the uh, third brake light right here. Um, on the my GTS wiring harness, let me take you inside real quick, it actually doesn't have that. It, it's got um, just the three wires for the, uh, and I know this is poor lighting, but sorry, three wires for the um, rear wash, uh, um, rear, rear window wiper and uh, it's got actually I don't know why it's got two wires for the uh, rear defrost and they both work they both come on whenever you turn the defrost on so I think I'll just wire one of those up and um, well, okay so the point of this is what wires to tap into in order to get the third brake light to work up here so what I did was I, I went over here with the uh, the tail light. Actually, I used my old um, my old uh, SR5 rear body harness, and I found that they had the two wires um, like this: the white with the black stripe and the green with the white stripe, uh, going to each side of the uh, tail lights. 
down in here pardon the mess and they the white one grounds here in the middle and the green ones I guess they power the the brake lights and so man these mosquitoes are okay so what I did was I tapped into here um, into the you can see there I tapped into the green wire with the red with the white stripe and the and the red tabs the two red tabs I cut into it real quick and I used an alligator clip this is just I'm just testing this right now obviously I, I uh, tapped into the al with the alligator clip put it on my test light right here and then I have my test light going to my ground over here with those uh, on that uh, spot right there I couldn't really find a great a good ground area so I just used that because the wires were long enough so so um, now I'm going to press the brake pedal and we'll see if the test light can come on okay so reference uh, I tapped into these two wires right here it's the green with white stripe and, and two in the red tabs and also the white with black stripe with the pink tabs on it I ran those up to the hatch um, and uh, connected them to the appropriate wires up here and now I have a, a working third brake light so um, in case you guys want to in case uh, that ever happens to anybody else, I searched online and it ha and it really hasn't. Except for I did see one other person with the same issue uh, that I came across, uh, but didn't look like he got much help on the interwebs. It was on a an old forum, but uh, so hopefully maybe this will help. Maybe that'll help out somebody one of these days. in the, the little hatch light here. Uh, I thought that was uh, got short or something. Got, got hot there, but it's just some paint got on there. right now and then when I get it all situated then I'll tighten these up like that. all right we're just kind of sitting in place right here just have right here I'm gonna go ahead and install this uh, speaker box I took the speakers out because they were shot and I'm gonna um, use different speakers anyways. I don't have them right now though, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just install this uh, how it sits and, uh, and then, uh, So you can watch watch me do that I, I guess um, Here's a couple of bolt holes right here on right where my thumb and forefinger is and then on here You have the corresponding holes and then you have this center piece that kind of uh, 
locates this, uh, locates it like that. And so basically it just sits in there like that. And here's another on this side. It's out of picture. There's another hole um, that you can, uh, that you also bolt into as well. All right, and then I've uh, gone ahead and pulled that. This is the wire for the speaker. So, There you have it. Let's check it out. Finally, all my suspension parts have come in. So I'm going to uh, kind of go over them with you. Uh, just kind of like an unboxing type of deal, but I've already seen them, but uh, you know, just for fun. So uh, let's, let's see what we got. All righty, let's see, let's go. Let's open this box right here. It looks, it's like uh, early Christmas here, Christmas in July. All right, this one is from BC Racing. I um, ordered just the rear parts from them. Uh, these are the rear springs right here. Look how short they are, kind of worries me. But then you have your, um, I don't know what you call it, the pedestal, I guess, or something. Let me open it a little bit here. Perch, I'm sorry, not pedestal. Spring perch. Um, and that sits up in the top cup. And the spring goes down here and the axle down on the bottom. So this takes up some room too. So I guess that's why the spring is a little bit shorter. So, um, but quality seems pretty good. I need to get one of those spanner wrenches. I don't have one of those spanner wrenches. But. All right, so... That's that. All right, so moving on. Let's go to the front. And here, ah, here we go. This is from uh, Techno Toy Tuning. Oops, let me see that. This is from Techno Toy Tuning. This is their weld lowering kit. Weld on lowering kit, let me see. What was that? Yeah, weld on coil over kit. I opted for six, I guess, kilograms. I don't know if it's per inch or whatever, but uh, six kilogram springs. Their eye box. Oh, there that thing is. I was looking for that. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, yeah. Open it like this. Got a cool little eye back sticker and some springs here. I wonder what these are for, this little plastic. I forgot it does something, but anyways, I'm sure one of you guys will know. Uh, Ibex springs, so tiny. Um, and so I got, those are, these are for the front. And these are the, this is the parts that, um, T3 supplies with the weld on with the weld kit. These are like the weld perches right here. 
So that's pretty nice. It goes around the stock housing and you weld those on. Here's what the perches look like. Yeah, that's what I was trying to, the perch. Yeah, let me get this one, this one's opened already. Now, the reason I got the ones from T3 is because um, they have a, this is six inch sleeve right here. And um, the ground control sleeves are are much shorter. I think they're about half of this length. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I, I mean that about the length, but the te these are are longer than the ground control. Um, I think that I, in fact I think they're three inches long from the ground control. The T3 has six inch long sleeves, so more adjustability. You probably don't need that much adjustability, but you know it's nice to have just in case. Um, you know, nice nice quality piece right here um, and you don't need spanner wrenches for this you just loose you just loose that up loosen the little screw and you turn this by hand so um, you know with the weight off of the off of the spring and then you can turn it by hand so let's see so that's that of course we have our techno toy tuning stickers decals or whatever and then th this right here, this is the cool p uh, part that I was uh, looking at. This is a, uh, a shifter rebuild kit that um, Techno Toy Tuning offers. I'll call them T3 from now on, so just in case anybody didn't know that. People call it T3 for short, so you don't have to say Techno Toy Tuning. But this is a shifter rebuild kit from T3. Um, and apparently, from what I've heard, is that it makes a night and day difference on the shifter feel. It's a lot more crisp. And not so spongy feeling, so um, you know that's pretty cool. So I wanted to go ahead and get that while I was shipping everything, because they kind of charge they're pre pretty high for shipping over there. I don't know why. Well, I guess the parts are a little heavy. That's probably why. But you know. All right, now my suspension. What are they going to sit on? Let's see. What I opted for was um, KYB AGX uh, shocks. And get this out of here. <clears throat> they're adjustable, and they're um, they're shorter than the regular AE86 shocks. So um, you have to modify the shock housing, and that's you know what the whole ordeal with this kit is. So it, it's a short stroke um, kit. So, but you get the different parts. You can order these for, for the AE86, but this is for a, um, this is the fronts for an MR2. Yeah, um, a, a uh, SW20 chassis MR2. This version, this is what you get. And then um, for the rears, you use um, shocks from a, F body uh, Camaro of all things, and there, let me open it. So, I guess they're a little bit shorter for the Camaro. So, and these are for the F body Camaro, and you can see the little knob there, pretty cool, fully adjustable. KYB. So, you know, they're decent shocks. They're not, they're not like the best, like, they're not like uh, Bilstein or, or TRD or something like that, but for, for a budget build, you know, it's not too bad. These are um, the upper mounts, camber adjustable from, from this company. I don't know how to pronounce that. But I've seen them around; they're pretty popular. But um, basically, they're they're, they're the upper plates, uh, pillow ball mount, and it has the um, you can adjust the camber on these. So pretty cool. They're gold, nice looking, very high quality. I I kind of opened them up before already, but um, 
so I don't really want to open them up again, but um, that's that. So that pr pretty much covers the suspension. Also, let me show you this before I forget. Um, I ordered these from a guy who makes them. Uh, he goes by uh, Straight Design. There you go. All right. And um, I guess he just makes like a bunch of, you know, decals and st stickers and stuff. But these, this is the, um, the GTS, the door, the door uh, graphics and the, the rear trunk graphics. This is the Zen key style. I like the, I like the Zen key style uh, myself. Uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit bigger and it says uh, twin cam on the side. I'm sure you've seen, you know what I'm talking about, but um, twin cam 16. Anyways, I just I opted for that style other than the uh, the Koki style, so um, that's pretty exciting. It's going to be it's black, so I think the black will will contrast nicely with the uh, this gray color. So there, so I'm excited about that as well. Um, you know, these are a nice little pretty penny, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. So if you want to check him out, Straight Design, I'll leave a link in the description as well. All right, I'm gonna put these pieces in. Kind of, I'm kind of just going, going with the flow here. Try, it's like a you know puzzle piece, I'm trying to figure out where all this is gonna be going. But uh, this, this one looks like it's gonna be good here. Now I understand that you probably have to do the headliner first, but I don't have the headliner, so I'm just going to go ahead and set these in and see what they look like, you know. Hopefully. Without breaking anything. Okay. Oh yes, one thing it, you might have noticed when I was installing that carpet, uh, it was pretty baggy right here, and that's because, and I did the passengers, the, both sides already, um, the, the uh, vents right here that go up, on, that attach right up here, and then they go on either side of the, uh, of, of the car, and then they exit right here. I forgot to install those, um, forgot all about them. So I had to bring the carpet back and uh, insert these, and uh, now they're they're good to go. So, in case you were wondering, you know, what happened there, um, just a little oversight. And now I think I think we're finally getting ready to uh, to kind of button things up now. Finally, so um, also uh, oh yeah. And so um, I have been a little bit bad uh, with my video recording because like I've installed all these pieces right here and I didn't show them on the video. Uh, that's because, uh, bad lighting there. Um, it was just tough to um, shoot all this and it's being such in a cramped spot. And um, you know, it's and it's really not exciting or anything. It's just it's just stuff that you. Do. It's just uh, you just kind of punch them, push them in place with the clips. And they just basically snap in place. Uh, nothing really, nothing really, uh, you know, exciting. Like I said, uh, I'm gonna wait with the um, A pillar covers because until after I do the dash, because I'm sure if I put the A pillar covers on first, I'll have to remove them to get the dash on to get the dash to fit in there right. So. I'm just gonna wait. I don't know if that's true, but I'm just gonna wait, you know, because it seems like I've had to do that with everything else. You gotta put it on in the, in the right order, but um, 
you know other than that uh, everything's gone pretty smoothly it's just those you know not having the the uh, the clips were just slowing me down uh, a little bit and uh, oh and another thing is like this this uh, um, rocker cover right here that goes between the carpet and the weather stripping like this piece right here um, I don't have that piece so that's one of the that's like the only piece I don't have it's kind of frustrating me because uh, it's a long piece as you can see it goes from there to there and so it's gonna be hard to just order something like that Toyota doesn't of course Toyota doesn't make it anymore so I have to find one second hand and then you know get if uh, I'll probably get charged a lot for shipping and all that which is understandable uh, so I might just hold off and t you know try to find one um, you know at a salvage yard or whatnot but I don't know um, it'll just have to be without one for now uh, because I just simply don't have one all right so anyways guys that's gonna do it for this video I appreciate you for hanging in there with me and uh, sticking with me I know this is a long process um, and some of it is not is not the most exciting you know to watch like installing the carpet you know but um, it's all very necessary uh, obviously when you're doing a restoration so um, you know just bear with me actually I'm working on the dash right now so um, it will actually be uh, real soon um, and I'll be able to get up another video uh, probably within the week maybe that it maybe just a couple of days so um, but I didn't but the, I had so much content that um, it was gonna be too long you know and I didn't I just didn't want to I didn't want to uh, do that and, and I didn't want to edit out uh, some of the things that might might be unimportant to some people and some things might be important to other people so I just put it all in there and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy and uh, and, and I keep saying and uh, so we got another episode coming up real quick uh, so hang in there be patient and we're, we're going to be doing the next episode. We'll be doing the dash. We'll be doing the uh, T3 shifter uh, rebuild kit. And, you know, maybe a little bit more of uh, whatever. So, all right. You guys have a good day. And, uh, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you, hasn't, if you haven't already. And hit that like button. Or like squad, where are you at?